and I woke up. Sometimes I have a restless night and I was just lying there gazing out the window and suddenly this bluey light started to come very faint at first and then it intensified and then I heard a sort of humming sound like a child's spinning top and it got closer and closer and louder and louder and the colour got more intense and then I thought there was something wrong outside and I got out of bed and started to go towards the window but I couldn't move because I saw this craft, I suppose you would call it, because nothing like I've ever seen before. It was bluey grey metal and the top was all clear, like perspex or glass, I don't know what it was, and there were two people in it. They had no helmets on and they had sort of, I could see them from the shoulders up, they had sort of, I don't know if it was the light that made it look blue, but pale bluey, almost like satin suits. And then it shot up vertically, like somebody going up in the lift, and then it took off at terrific speed over the hills at the back towards Wanui. What was the reaction of your family when you told them? Like the reaction of most people when they hear about these things, they thought I'd flip my lid. <laughs> or I'd had a nightmare and some of them said, oh, how many drinks did you have? And in the end, I just gave up. I didn't say any more about it because nobody believed me. And I know because I heard it and I saw it, I know that it was there and it was real. Did you even consider consulting a, a psychologist or a doctor about whether it was possible that you hallucinated this? <laughs> no, I know I'm perfectly sane. I'm just an ordinary person. I never have any queer ideas or anything like that. Do you think the government should be taking a role in, in monitoring all these uh, sightings? I definitely do, because these things are real. I don't care... No use them telling me that they're a, a plane or a weather balloon. I've yet to see a weather balloon with people in it, and it certainly wouldn't be that low anyway. And it's no reflection on clouds. The clouds don't come down that far. But they should definitely do something about it. I, for one, would like to see something done about it. I'd like them to set up some research into it. Because if they don't, if these things are ever hostile, we've had it. Did you get the feeling that they were hostile or they were just uh, no. friendly and curious? I think they're just friendly and curious, but let's hope they just stay that way. Because otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen. And I woke up.